Welcome to our Reflective Tape Information Channel, sponsored by Reflective Incorporated, the visibility company. This video discusses the difference between prismatic reflective tapes and glass bead-based reflective films. Glass bead tapes reflect using microscopic glass spheres, and prismatic tapes use man-made microprisms. To be clear, all retro-reflective tapes on the market today use one of these two methods to provide retro-reflectivity. Reflective tape was invented in the 30s by the 3M company. This revolutionary new safety tape used glass beads for reflectivity. It became incredibly popular and was used for all types of applications, but overwhelmingly for street signs. Then, in the 1960s, a company called Reflexight invented microprismatic reflective tape. Glass bead films changed the world of nighttime safety, and prismatic tapes changed it again. Interestingly, over 50 years after the invention of prismatic reflective tapes, glass bead tapes are still very popular. In other words, new technology has not replaced the old. This is due to the fact that both have characteristics that, in certain circumstances, make each of them desirable. Let's talk first about glass bead reflective tapes and how they work. To bend and reflect light back to the light source, glass bead retro reflective films use small, perfectly round glass spheres. Light enters the bead, bends, bounces, bends again, and then returns to the source, regardless of which direction the light came from. The beads are set in a metallized film, hence creating a mirror finish on the back of the sphere, which makes them much brighter than an unmetallized bead. Because of imperfections and curved surfaces, glass bead tapes are about 30% efficient. This inefficiency can be problematic for long sight distance applications out beyond 300 feet. But even though glass bead retro reflective tapes are less bright, they have at least four distinct advantages over prismatic tapes. First of all, reflective tapes using glass beads are substantially more affordable due to manufacturing being less complicated. Second, the majority of glass bead tapes can be easily cut using graphic software and a sign plotter, allowing graphic artists to make reflective signs and graphics by cutting out letters, numbers, and designs from the film. Third, Glass bead engineer grade type 1 tape is available in the largest color palette, giving users more choices than any other reflective film. Fourth, glass bead tapes return light at broader angles. Prismatic tapes return light like a spotlight would, whereas glass bead tapes return light more like a floodlight. This diagram shows you how glass bead tape scatters light more than prismatic tape. It also demonstrates why glass bead tapes lose brightness at greater distances. Glass bead reflective tapes come in three subtypes, type 1 engineer grade, type 2 super engineer, and type 3 high intensity. A typical engineer grade or type 1 reflects at around 75 candelas for white. It can be found on automobile tags, stop signs, speed limit signs, emergency vehicle striping and graphics, among other things. As stated before, this tape is the most widely used because of its ability to be CAD cut by computer plotters and turned into graphics. Super Engineer Grade Type 2 is identical to Engineer but twice as bright. It uses higher index glass beads and reflects at about 150 candelas for white. High Intensity Type 3 tape encloses higher index beads in a honeycomb array. It is the brightest glass bead based tape. As a comparison to Engineer, White high-intensity tape reflects at about 250 candelas. Both road barrels and traffic cones often use a flexible version of this type of tape, and all three of these glass bead tapes are still used today. Now let's talk about prismatic reflective tapes. With prismatic reflective tapes, as much as 80% of the light that enters the film is returned. Because of this efficiency, it is more visible for greater distances than glass bead tapes. The fact is, that prisms are more efficient, since the mirrors are flat rather than curved. Due to the tape's increased focus, the light it emits can travel further. Microprismatic reflective films come in two varieties, air-backed and metallized. What are air-backed prismatic films? Air-backed films are thick like credit cards and consist of two layers. The top layer is the reflective element, and the bottom layer is a white background. Between the two layers is an airspace. Air-backed films are vivid, bright, and easy to make. The disadvantage is that they are very difficult to computer or plotter cut, 
so they are used almost exclusively for sign backgrounds on roadways. What are metalized prismatic films? Metalized prismatic tapes are different from airbag films in that the backs of the prisms are metalized to make them like mirrors. There is no air gap and no layers to delaminate. Metalized prismatics are very thin, very bright, and can be plotter cut for graphics. This gives them a unique advantage over airbag films when it comes to applications like vehicle graphics and lettering. They are more expensive to make and not quite as vivid as airbag films in the daytime. Hence, they are used mostly for applications other than highway signs. Some of these applications are DOT tape, Solus Marine tape, railcar tape, gate arm tape, photoelectric tape, delineator tape, chevron panel tape, and of course, all kinds of vehicle graphic applications. Virtually all metalized reflective films are classified as a Type 5. At the present time, Orifol is the largest producer of metalized retro reflective films. So, as you can see, there are quite a few types of reflective tapes, even within the two major categories of glass bead and prismatic. The thing to remember is that each type, each class, each variety, and each color of tape has a special purpose in keeping us safe at night. For more information about our reflective tapes, please go to our main site, reflectivestore.com. If you have a question, please email steve at reflectivestore.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.